Welcome to the Mac video for ERS on creating and maintaining plots for embankment, subgrade, and base, or ESB. This video is the second in a series of videos for QC data entry about ERS plots. The video describes how to create, update, and delete embankment points, or ESB plots. In the introduction video, we saw some restrictions to creating logbooks. For ESB logbooks, there is an additional restriction you need to be aware of. ESB logbooks are limited to 10,000 linear feet. If the project is more than 10,000 linear feet, the logbooks must be subdivided so that no single logbook is more than 10,000 linear feet. You must be in your company roles and have the role of data entry for one of the companies designated as QC on the ERS project. Navigate to the ERS project and click on the Logbooks tab to expand it. For ERS projects with more than one logbook, select the ESB logbook from the Display drop-down list. Select the Create Embankment Point option. A Create Embankment Point dialog box appears. Select the number of embankment points to create up to 40. Each ESB logbook is not limited to 40 entries. Mac limits more than 40 entries at one time. This is due to system and screen constraints. In many cases, more than 40 entries will be needed for a logbook. To enter more than 40, create the first 40 points and select the Save option. Then select the Create Embankment Point option again to get the ability to create the next 40 points and repeat until all points are saved. For demonstration purposes, we will enter 11 points. Enter the station, existing elevation, and proposed elevation for each embankment point. At this point in the video, we will pause and enter the rest of the information for these points. In the surface thickness field, enter the thickness for the structural and friction asphalt courses added together. For example, if the structural course is 4 inches and the friction course is 3 quarters of an inch, enter 4.75. For the base thickness fields, you need to know the base option the contractor selected to determine the number of base lifts needed. For example, if the thickness of the optional base group is 10 inches, the first lift could be 6 inches and the second lift could be 4 inches, or both the first and second lift could be 5 inches. For base groups greater than 12 inches, there is a field for the third lift. This field would not be used unless the overall thickness requires the lifts to be placed in three lifts. In some rare cases, like graded aggregate base, up to 20 inches may be placed, so there would be a need for a fourth lift. In most cases, you will only use the first two lifts. The subgrade thickness defaults to 12 inches. In most cases, this is correct. Select the Save option to create the embankment points. Mac plots the surface, base, subgrade, and embankment points. The plot is a single plot with no layers from a programming perspective. The area in yellow from the existing elevation to the bottom of the subgrade is material tested under Max Spec 120, Excavation and Embankment. The orange area from the bottom of the subgrade to the bottom of the base is material tested under Max Spec 160, Stabilizing. The area in blue from the bottom of the base to the bottom of the surface is tested under Max Spec 
200 rock base. Once embankment points are created, tabs are added for embankment points, lots, pads, water table lines, and plot lines. When creating embankment points, MAP provides a warning message if two of the points appear to be too far apart. The limit for this check is more than 500 lineal feet between the stations. Dismiss the warning message by clicking on the X on the line of the message. If needed, make changes to the data before saving. Remember that Mac will create entries for each individual station between these two points. This warning message is intended to stop Mac from creating entries if there is a data entry error in one of these points. For example, 100 plus 00 to 150 plus 00 when it should have been 105 plus 00. With this data entry error, Mac would create 50 entries instead of 5. You would have to remove the entries one at a time if you miss this data entry error before you save the embankment points. To update embankment points, click on the embankment points tab to expand it. Select the update icon on the row of the point you want to update. An update dialog box appears. Update the existing elevation, proposed elevation, or both, and select the Save option. We will cover the Step Up, Step Down option in a later video. Changes made here do not automatically update the lifts. Mac doesn't automatically update so that any manual adjustments that might have already been done are not overwritten. We will see how to adjust the lifts in the next video. To delete an embankment point, select the delete icon on the row of the point you want to delete. A delete dialog box appears. Select the delete option. This concludes the Mac video for ERS ESB plots. Thank you for reviewing the training. If you need assistance with Mac, please contact your local district application coordinator. For assistance with the RS, contact the local district materials and research office, Earthwork Specialist.